Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture we will discuss about algebra of continuous functions. Okay. As we have discussed in our previous lecture about the continuity of the function, so now we will discuss some theorems based on continuity of the function here. Okay. So the theorem one is this is not a theorem basically student, it is somewhat like a property of the continuity of the functions okay suppose f and g be two real value functions two real functions continuous at a real number c <coughs> then first part is f plus g is also continuous at c also continuous at the number c f minus g also holds true is also continuous at C. Third is F multiply G is also continuous at C. And the fourth part F divided by G is also continuous at C but provided G of C should not be equal to zero because if g of c becomes zero then the function f by g will turns to not defined okay so the g of c should be should not be zero at c okay so let me give you the proof of one of the function one of the property okay so we need to check whether the function f plus g at x equal to c is continuous or not. So I will check the limit here, limit x tends to c, f plus g of x, which is limit x tends to c, fx plus g of x, okay, by the definition of this. So we can break the function in separate limits. Limit x tends to c fx plus limit x tends to c g of x. Okay. So as we have clearly stated earlier also, these two functions are continuous at a real value function. So we can say that this is fc plus gc. So this is f plus g times c. So by this definition, the function is continuous at is also f plus g is also continuous at c. So similarly, students, we can prove for f minus g, f into g, and f by g. Okay. So this all holds true for means these all four functions. If f and g are two continuous function at real number c, then this all holds true okay now let us move to another theorem or property the theorem number two student here is suppose f and g are real valued functions such that f of g okay is defined at c if g is continuous at c and if f is continuous 
at g of c then f of g is continuous at c okay means f of g will be continuous at c if only if g is continuous at c and f is continuous at gc okay i'll prove this theorem by giving you one example so i am writing the example here show that fx equal sin of x square is continuous function so students as you can clearly see that it is somewhat similarly to f of g because this function is made of x square fx equal x square or you can say gx equal x square and fx equal let me rewrite it here gx is equal to x square and f of g of x is sin x square and fx is given to us as sin x so i can write f of g of x as sin of x square so if this holds true then we can say that this property also holds true for all of the functions okay so observe that the function is defined for every real number because as you can see x square is defined at all the real values of x okay the function f may be thought of as a composition of two real functions which i am stated i have stated here also since you know that these both the functions are continuous at all the points so i can say that f of g of x is which is sin of x square or you can also write f of g of x as f of g of x sin x square okay is continuous at all values of x okay so student this property is or this theorem is also holds true for all values of c okay so i hope students now you are pretty clear about the two theorems which i have discussed here and in the next lecture i will discuss some questions based on continuity of the functions and based on this theorems also okay so stay tuned for that lecture thank you students happy learning